Hello Scam Squad. Today we are solving two-step inequalities. And just like when we solve equations, we want to get the variable by itself on one side of the inequality sign. The first example is 3x minus 2 is less than or equal to 13. The first step is to undo addition or subtraction by applying the opposite operation. So if we look at the inequality, do you see addition or subtraction? Well, I see subtraction, and we are subtracting 2. So we want to do the opposite operation on both sides. So what is the opposite of subtracting 2? If you said adding 2, you are correct. If we focus on the left side, we have negative 2 plus 2, which is equal to 0. So we can cancel those out. We'll bring down that 3x, and we'll bring down the inequality sign. If we focus on the right, we have 13 plus 2, and 13 plus 2 is equal to 15. This moves us on to step number 2. Undo multiplication or division by applying the opposite operation. And I notice right away that we have a number in front of the variable. This is called a coefficient. And a coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable. So 3 is being multiplied by x. So we want to do the opposite of multiplying by 3, which is dividing by 3. Notice how the fraction bar means division. So if we focus on the left side, we have 3 divided by 3. And any number divided by itself will always be 1. So 3x divided by 3 will leave us with 1x or just x. We want to pay attention to the special rule at the bottom, and that says, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, flip the sign. Since we divided by a positive number, we don't have to worry about this rule. So we can bring down the inequality sign. If we focus on the right, we have 15 divided by 3. And 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So the final inequality will be x is less than or equal to 5. All right, example number 2 t over negative 3 plus 8 is greater than 13. Step 1. Undo addition or subtraction by applying the opposite operation. So do you see addition or subtraction in our inequality? I see addition, and we are adding 8. So we want to do the opposite of this on both sides of the inequality sign. And the opposite of adding 8 is subtracting 8. If we focus on the left side, we have 8 minus 8, which is 0, so we can cancel those out. And now we'll bring down the t over negative 3. We can bring down the inequality sign. And if we focus on the right, we have 13 minus 8, which is equal to 5. This moves us on to step number 2. Undo multiplication or division by applying the opposite operation. Notice just like in the last problem, we see that fraction bar. And this means division. So t is being divided by negative 3. So we want to do the opposite operation. And the opposite of dividing by a negative 3 is multiplying by a negative 3. If we focus on the left, I'm going to change that negative 3 into a fraction. And we can turn any whole number into a fraction by giving it the denominator of 1. There's also an invisible number in front of that t, and that invisible number is a 1. Now if I pull out those fractions, I have negative 3 over 1 times 1 over negative 3. Notice these are the same numbers except for the numerator and denominator are switched. These type of fractions are called reciprocals. And any time we multiply reciprocals, we will always get the number 1. So if we go back to our original fractions, we can cross out the 3s, cross out the 1s, which leaves us with just t. Now we want to pay attention to the rule at the bottom once again. And that rule says, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, flip the sign. Since we did multiply both sides by a negative 3, we do want to flip the inequality sign. So originally, 
the inequality sign was pointed to the right. So we want to flip it, so the inequality sign should now be pointing to the left. So now if we focus on the right, we have 5 times negative 3. And 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. So the final inequality will be t is less than negative 15. All right, I have two problems I want you to try. I would recommend you pause the video, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. The final inequality for number one will be r is greater than negative two. Notice that we did divide by a negative number, so we did have to flip the sign in that problem. The final inequality for number two will be r is greater than or equal to 34. If you had any of these incorrect, I would recommend you go back, review your work, and see if you can determine your mistake. Thank you for watching. Multiply or divide by a negative flip the sign. Multiply or divide by a